Look like it. He's on his way. All right. All the line to know about trees on the line and ones that aren't. If a tree falls over and pins our wires down, if it is a high impedance path going back to earth, the tree could sit there and not do anything with the wire still energized. As soon as you cut that tree off and it comes up off the stump, the path could be through you through the chainsaw. Uh, we have limbs that lay on wires all the time, just sitting there, may not be doing anything. You go up and touch it, uh, you could get electrocuted. Now, I have doctored this limb up a little bit. I put some steel wool on it. When it tracks, I, I put it on there so the steel wool sort of sparks like fireworks. I'm just letting you know I did it. I usually don't tell the firemen that. But the tree will come. This area is going to be hit by a major event. You know, we're going to get a hurricane, we're going to get an ice storm or something. We're trying to teach the firemen, the policemen, the rescue squad, city workers, tree trimmers, stay off of our lines. We're telling them to stay at least 30 feet away from our lines when they're out there working. Uh, so they won't get electrocuted. Y'all know what happens during a major event. They're out there moving our wires everywhere. We're trying to get them to know that all wires are not considered dead until they have been, what? Tag tested, Tag -tested and grounded. So, and I'm gonna tell you, y'all know from experience what the firefighters and some of the police can do during a major event. And I, in my opinion, we have been very fortunate we haven't had a fatality with that. So we want to educate them so that won't happen. And I hope y'all will take it out to your neighbors I know you ladies get Mylar balloons on your birthday and Valentine's Day. I don't know about around here. I know where I work in Farmville, we have had circuits locked up from these Mylar balloons. Uh, and if there's a string on them and they're up in our line, if somebody goes, tries to pull them down, they could get electrocuted. I know we had a customer that put a aluminum ladder up on our pole to get the balloons down. One of them had already popped. She didn't get shocked, but one of our servicemen came when she was pulling the ladder off her pole and asked her what she was doing. And she said her kids' balloons had got up in her line. So uh, these things have become sort of a nightmare to us. What we're going to do here, we're going to bridge this cutout right here. And when we bridge the cutout, you'll see it cracking and see this light over here come on just to show how they are conducted. Just to show y'all, if you look at the balloon, you can see where the electrons are trying to track across it. They're like little pathways. Y'all can look at it where it's trying to track across it, getting hot, and popping the balloon. Sometimes they'll pop. We don't put helium or anything.